So that's such a large face of helmet thing. I don't know what I call it. to go with that covers up my face Christ some of these are just stupid no nope, let's go with that sure uh jacket doesn't really matter because that changes as soon as uh, we get new equipment I'll take that one keep the pants as they are I like channel colors, so we'll go with that. We're gonna reverse these. Yeah. Seek. I'll just go, no, not gigantic. I'll just go with huge and, by the way, have you seen this, Seraph? You can make people compact. <laughs> Dorky, yeah, there we go. Big thick boy. I was gonna do that for Erin, but apparently she doesn't approve, so. This is the portrait I gave you because it's very space marine. -y. Ugh, hate the clown ones. So hate clowns. Mm -mm. Go with that one because it really doesn't matter. Starting weapon. Um, I think I'm just gonna go an assault rifle build since we have a sniper, we have a uh, a heavy weapon, so I'm gonna go assault rifle. Starting attributes. Uh, what works well for snipe for assault rifles? Hmm. I got zero charisma, so um, let's make myself a little bit smarter. Yeah. I'm not very fast. Uh, coordination. I mean, I'm, I'm decent. I'm decent there. Range damage, sure. I've got one more point. I want to get this just because you get some minuses otherwise. So I got. I'm, I mean, I'm a strong. I'm strong. I can lift things. So actually, coordinates and speed. Okay, well. I'm gonna go with lock picking for me, even though nerd stuff would be cool. But I've already given Aaron nerd stuff. Mm. With science, we do that. What else? I don't understand what's the point of toaster repair. I, I don't get it. Like, is that some sort of thing I should be getting? I'll go with weapon. Yeah. Weapon modding and anything else? Let's go lockpicks, sure. Do I want a quirk? Can't wear armor. That's no, that's not a good one. I have no effect on leadership on me, but I have higher initi initiation. Cool. Not be a writer during combat. 
Mm. See more damage, also do more damage. Aaron's got the serial killer. Let's do pump chump. Uh, no, thank you. I mean, I don't mind going berserk. Sure, let's go with that. Got that Viking blood rust, you know? Boom. Boom. Oh, I can make another one? How many people can I have in my party? I just fill out my entire squad right now? Okay, sure. Um... God. Identification. Ken. Boom. We can Here comes the pain. Uh oh. They have a yeah. enemies alerted. Enemy. You want a brawl? Damn. Are you crazy? Okay. Gonna take a hot second this. Bonus against vehicles and machines. I mean, honestly, you should make Ken a medic class, but I've kind of already done that with. Aaron, so can do medic stuff. Ken likes to think of himself as a sex machine. There we go. Give him more combat sets. Mm -mm -mm -hmm. Make him uh, all red stuff. There we go. Now, now you notice that he called you Urn? There you go. There you go, Ken. There's your beard. Give him a you no, know, it's still cowboy hat. There we go, makes him happy. Make Ken's all black, black like his soul. There we go. He's, he's average, I think. Yeah, we'll make him medium. Mm -mm. And none of them really match, so I'm just gonna, you know, give them random portraits. Starting weapon. Mm. You can make him a shoddy. Attributes. What works well with shotgun? Hang on, let's check real quick. Plane throwers, machine guns. Where is shotguns? Oh, that's handguns and shotguns. Okay, so that's uh, coordination, luck, and awareness. Hmm. Again, some survival. Yeah, you, you'll sweet talk information out of people. Oh, the neck pop though. Attributes. So it was awareness, coordinate, so coordination. Awareness and what now? And luck. Sure. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
work. Don't provide during combat, but increase health. Sure, he's a medical marvel. Let's go, Ken. Oh, we reached the maximum? Okay. Boom. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Okay, why? Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... Getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base, okay. finding specialists to staff it. Mm, surveying the base sounds good. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. Okay. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, Maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. That sounds good. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. All right. Uh, thanks for the info. Uh, one sec. What do you want, boy? Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Um. What do you have to offer us? Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. I mean, as long as I don't have to and remove somebody else from my team, my I might take him. Say it. There are places around here where those things might come in handy. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. <laughs> mm, you recruit your first companion. Companions are unique kind of squad members. Unlike rangers who you create, companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave. Okay. You have up six characters in your squad. Up to four of them can be ranger. Oh, so I can't make any more... Rec okay, so it's literally just me, Seraph, Ken, and, and uh, Aaron. Okay. We have at least two companion spots, okay. Well, let's have a look around the base before we leave as they suggested. Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed oh, see, is There's a toaster there, but I don't know what boys. what's the point of repairing toasters? I don't get the joke. Is this barracks? Please, don't shoot. Um, hi? Who... Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. No, we're rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and... We've got nowhere to go. Okay. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. Uh, she shoots a fearful look at Kwong, and he, she doesn't seem to notice. Hmm... Did you set up the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Hey, okay. Now you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. 
They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. Hmm. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there. Under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Um... I mean, I often play the good guy, so I'm gonna be like, no. Of course. That's what I knew you'd say. This light by the wasteland of refugees. We'll go to the city then. Beg for food like the others do. Won't be any more trouble for you. The way she says that sounds Come like she's on, definitely be more Gather trouble for me. Things. Oh, I can actually use this to customize appearances. Okay. Forty-five ammo, energy cells, some Colorado dollars. Woo! Looks like we're gonna get some use out of Aaron's taming ability. Tame them? Oh, you can temporarily stun these guys. Make him chill out. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, Aaron. Please run. Nope, trying to hit her. These are predators. You can't actually tame these guys, sadly. Hmm. Can you provide Overwatch? You can. Poison spike? your bit day been pat anything new well are those are wolverines Got some crusty nose rings and all in billboard who put it there i don't know Went to the nutritious, took an act. Okay, the power button uh, on the machine resets. Um, resist your press, seemingly rusted in place. Makes a sandy crunch as you finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure, corruption detected across multiple sectors, initiating automated repair operations. Recovery completed, view. Okay. Personnel logs. Oh, I don't have nerd stuff high enough. Personnel log. It's just law on the world. Okay, I'm not too interested in that. Anybody security stuff? Classified information purge initiated. Nothing overly interesting there. made amendment intention of was for intruder uh logging technical review request with information techno okay 
Now let's try and recover the, uh, some other security logs. Of Zerna. We're uh, remaining officers of the 249th Engineer Battalion have uh, been unable to contact our leaders at four co uh, Force Calm for, for too long and have come to the unfortunate conclusion that the government has fallen. Every one of us here joined the army to protect the people of the United States, and if the U.S. is no more, we intend to continue to protect uh, you with the best of our ability. I heard your cries on the, uh, on, uh, for help on the radio. We want to make sure know that help is coming keep calling shelter in place stay strong we are on our way hopefully if i just read through all of these quickly it might give me some sort of information who knows so many of these Okay. Just died for me, but now my mood is ruined by the sun. <laughs> well, that happens, my man. More loot here. The stairs over there are blocked off. Oh, no, those are 3006s. Is that ammo for Aaron at all? Is ammo for Aaron? Thank fuck. Okay, a little bit more ammo. Really? No, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, we've had one confirmed case of COVID in my class. Uh, and But only she and the people sitting within like one meter radius of her got sent home. But oh, hey. uh, hi, who are you and why are you in here? Who locked you in my jail? The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes. He's been dead for uh, long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Search the body. Okay, looks trustworthy, yeah. This man was carrying nothing but his clothes. He'd worn his body in the tented and grimy. His shoes have holes in their soles. One pocket, you find a half-eaten, sweet-smelling mushroom. Need to get some more first aid as well. Step away from the body. What's going on with the dead guy? Is he, uh, the prisoner. Waving at you through the bars of the cells, a pale, rail-thin man with matted hair and frame faded clothes gives you a lazy, glassy-eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? What's up? Seen you before, have I? Uh, no. We're Rangers. This is not, uh, going to be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Uh, headquarters for what? Uh, Rangers help people. We're here to help Colorado. That's cool. That's cool, help man. It's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? Uh,. Actually, we've got some couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't know. I don't mind. Ask me whatever. Okay, uh, what's your name? My name? Uh, yeah, ah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick. Booger. 
Dickens. What? Um. Like that. Honestly, I don't know. Remember, it's been a long time since I thought about that man. How long have you been in there? Time since someone uh, asked me about it, I I couldn't have been here for a while. Living off what? The shrooms in the corner? Yeah, how long have you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Uh, okay. How, yeah, how you survived? You know, man. I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, okay. you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Yeah, so you're licking the water, <laughs> or the wall for water, and eating shrooms. <laughs> so I added a little self, uh, oh. self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. So you've been living off wool water and mushrooms? Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. <laughs> Oh, uh, why do you have to make that noise? Uh. That was a good day, man. No. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Yeah, why are you in there? Because uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> That's not why we're asking. Why were you put in there? Oh, man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man. Like former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Yeah. Him, like seriously. Can you tell us anything about the groups who've lived us before? Yeah, what happened to this dead refugee? Oh, man, uh, that's, uh, some wild stuff. Eel bummer, bro. Stuff. Yeah, I know. Dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and, uh, freaked out. And starts messing with that, uh, computer machine over there. And, yeah, then there's this big-ass flash of light from the computer machine, and he falls down, and then all these, uh, Sirens and flashing lights. So he's Which the one who set off the alarms. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know. Then after a while, they let him out. Mm. And then, um, well, you came in. I mean, he sounds happy. He's got his wool water and his uh, poopy mushrooms, you know. We found a half-eaten mushroom in the corpse's pocket. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> Kill the prisoner? Uh, you want us to let you out? Oh, man, yes. Yes, please. Very much. Oh, the way he said that, uh, no. Your call on this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. No, Pat, I don't trust I'd, him. Uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Mm. You should probably stay in there for now. Oh, man, just like everybody else. Okay, well, uh, 